is shorter, you are able to do more count. You know, in Mantra Shastra, to get arhata, to do, to ask that Mantra Devata, you know, any desire or whatever problem that you are suffering from to be removed, to even ask the Devata, you have to do Purascharna of that Mantra after getting initiated from Isidha Guru. What is Purascharna? That is the, typically in Mantra Shastra, Purascharna is defined as however many alphabets are there in that mantra, you are supposed to do that many lakhs, that many hundred thousand mantra. Then 10% 10 of it you have to do homo, the samsam, that's what it is called. And from that 10% you need to do tarpanam. And within that another 10% you do marjanam. And then within that 10% you are supposed to do anna samara. When you do this five steps, then you have completed the purascharna for that mantra. Okay. Now, if you take Gayatri Mantra, how many alphabets are there? 24 alphabets. That means you are supposed to do 24 lakhs. 10%, 2.4 lakhs homo. Then 10% tarpanam. Then 10% marjanam. And then 10% anna samaradhana. So, that is when you will get the uh, arhata to ask the deity whatever desire. Oh Divine Mother, oh Divine Father, please help me remove this problem from uh, my misery and stuff like that. So, as everybody knows, Swamiji is the ultimate authority when it comes to Mantra Shastra. And we are all living in Kali Yuga and everybody, every human being is going after money and they are all in the rat race. They don't have that much time to do this much Purashtana. So what Swamiji, Pujya Swamiji said is, you know what? You just do one lakh, that is hundred thousand. The, the remaining hundred thousands is in my account. Okay. You do hundred thousand. So whenever Swamiji initiates uh, in, in any mantra, diksha, you, you are only specifically told by the Swamiji to do 100,000 Japam, 10%, 10,000 Homam, 10%, 1,000 Tarpanam, 10% of that is 100, which is Marjanam, and then feed 10 people, and then your Parashyana is complete. Okay? So, Swamiji with his divine blessings and his, and he's a Siddha Guru, with his power, he is he has cut down. Again, we are all looking for shortcuts, right? We are all looking for a shortcut. So, he has given us that shortcut. We just have to reset the mantra 100,000. A lot of people even struggle with that. Like, they come and I have seen a lot of people come to Swamiji and say, Swamiji, I am not able. I just did about uh, 10,000. 10, which is, like, you know, if you really are serious sadhaka and you want to resolve your problems and overcome your problems, when Swamiji, uh, who is nothing, who is none other than a Siddha Guru, when he gives us the mantra, if we really focus on it and start doing it, I see so many hundreds and thousands of people getting their problems resolved and overcoming their problems. And some of you are already sitting in this uh, uh, audience and some of them are there on their way also to solve their problems. Okay? This Lagu Arahi, coming back to Lagu Arahi, as, as the name indicates, it's a shorter version, smaller version, and it will start working immediately. That is the greatness of Lagu Arahi. Lot of pre people prefer shorter versions instead of uh, Doing, imagine if you are doing a mantra for 100,000 times, okay, with 100 vijayakshas like Prakatvaraki, how long will it take? It takes forever, right? So they all want shorter versions. So they say, is there a lagu method, lagu mantram, please give it to us. 
Also, when we are on this topic, I get this question a lot um, and I would like to address this question. Um, they come and talk to me like Bhushan Garu, Swamiji gave this mantra, you know, we have been initiated by this mantra and we need to chant 100,000. How long do we need to take? Is there a time bound or a time limit that we need to finish this uh, Purush Chakra? Okay, that is the most famous question that uh, we get. Okay, so to answer that question, typically I suggest as quickly as possible. And Swamiji also says, you know, per Swamiji, do it as quickly as possible. I have seen some people finish that Purush Chakra within two days. 100,000. Because that's how desperate they are. They want to overcome that problem. Okay, your sadhana also have to be, has to be that severe. Okay, the greater the severity of your sadhana is, quicker the divine grace enters into your body. And that Devata Chaitanya, that, um, that divine energy comes in to your aura and you will start seeing the mantra working. But typically going back to the question, what uh, we typically recommend is you divide because you know your time. Okay. You know your time. So divide like, you know, 100,000. If you want to finish it in 50 days, that means divide 100,000 by 50. That is 2,000 per day. Do the mantra. Okay. You can do it in one sitting or in two sittings. You can do 1,000 japam in the morning and 1,000 in the evening or you can do it in one sitting. Okay. Yeah. If you want to do it in 20 days, that is 5,000 per day. So you can do it, you know, in one sitting 5,000 or 2,500 in the morning and 2,500 in the evening. So those are the typical guidelines that we recommend saying that, hey, if you take this mantra, what is the time bound? The time bound is your time bound. How much time you can dedicate and how severe your problem is and how quickly you want to get out of this problem. Lot of people find lot of relief immediately or the severity reduces very, very quickly um, when it comes to uh, once they start doing the sun. Lot of people, I'm sorry, I'm slightly deviating here from Lagu Varahi because I get reminded about the common questions, the frequently asked questions. Like, um, you know, they come and say, Bhushan Garu, I, I sit to do the Japam. And for some reason, I am not able to sit further. Something or the other obstacle comes. Okay? and I'm not able to do, how do I overcome that? So, typically what happens is, you're suffering that misery because of your karma, right? From past birth or whenever it is, it is because of that. So what that karma does is, it puts all sorts of obstacles, tiredness, procrastination. You want to sit today, every day, from seven to eight, guess what, you won't be able to sit. Okay, so it is a journey when you are trying to finish that initial 100,000 job. You will come across a lot of obstacles. So usually you typically find it around 10,000 count or before that or maybe around 30,000 count or maybe around 60,000 count. You come to some sort of obstacles, procrastination, laziness, you don't feel like doing. And so my best recommendation is you just march on. No matter what, you got to get that willpower to sit down and sit and do it. You have to do it. Okay. Well, after a while, you will overcome that and you will never feel the tiredness. So they are like speed bumps. You just have to get over them. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give in to your laziness. Don't give in to your procrastination. Don't try to do that. Keep marching. You know, just stomp on forward. Okay. Another last question that I get a lot. Bhushan Garu, I sit. I'm not able to concentrate. I have zero concentration. Okay. 
my mind is going all over the place. I'm thinking of my son, I'm thinking of this one, I have to cook, I have to do this, I have to do All these millions of thoughts are coming into your head and you're doing the mantra. You're still doing the mantra, but all these thoughts are coming into your head. I'm not able to concentrate. How will this mantra work? Will it even work for me? That's the most famous third question I get. See, Swamiji has given a fantastic answer for this. He says, Mantra, the energy, the Shakti is generated from the Shabdam sound, from the Bijakshara. It has nothing to do with your Bhakti. You can be a atheist, still do the Mantra and you will still find the results. Because it has nothing to do with your concentration. It has nothing to do whether you believe in that Mantra or not also. You don't even have to believe in that God or Devata also. But if you start chanting that mantra, because the sound of that mantra is generating that Shakti, that sound doesn't know whether you have Bhakti or not, you're doing it with concentration or not, it doesn't care. It will start working. Now, I'll give a caveat to this. If you really do it with full surrender and Bhakti, it works really, really fast. It acts like a catalyst. Alright? So, these are